it's time back with another video. Today I'll be bringing you a review on set 75322, the Hoth ATST. This set comes with 586 pieces and came out this year in 2022. So first to start off, here is the instruction manual, and here is this very long, tall box. So first we will get into the minifigures. First up we have like a snow Hoth version of Chewbacca. Now, it's very clear that in the Battle of Hoth and throughout their, the Rebels' time in Hoth, Chewbacca does get a lot of snow on him, so this is a very accurate representation of what Chewbacca looked like at the time of the Battle of Hoth. I don't believe Chewbacca actually like fought and was actually shooting stormtroopers, at least that we could see in the Battle of Hoth, but he's still here in this set. It's definitely a good addition to the set, and it's a new minifigure. Completely new, never been done before, and he does come with the stud shooter bowcaster, which I'm actually okay with. I actually somewhat like that stud shooter compared to the regular ones. But yeah, a pretty simple figure, but definitely a good one overall, I would say. So let's move into the next minifigure. Next up, we have the Hoth Rebel Trooper. We only get one in the set, unfortunately. I'm kind of wishing that at $60, which I believe is the price of the set, that we got two Hoth Rebel Troopers or maybe a Stormtrooper added. But unfortunately, we only get one. Now, the Hoth Rebel Trooper in this set does look pretty good. Unfortunately, it does not come with any leg printing, which is a rarity these days. Most figures do come with leg printing, but this Rebel Trooper does not. She does come with a backpack and has just a regular blaster. And then there's the head underneath. And uh, yeah, that's about it. A pretty simple figure, but definitely a good addition. You definitely need your Hoth Rebel Troopers to fight your Snow Troopers. So yeah. Let's move on to the next minifigure. Our third and final minifigure here is the ATST pilot. Now, he definitely looks pretty good. I would say this is a very good representation of him. I don't really know if we really see the actual ATST driver. We do see the ATST in the Battle of Hoth for like a split second scene, um, but I don't know if we ever see the actual driver. This ATST isn't seen very much in the movie. And so, yeah, I don't I don't think we see too much of this guy, but it's definitely a good addition. Obviously, you need someone to pilot your ATST, and there, I'm sure there's some images from different books and stuff that they went off of to make this guy. So I'm sure they did the best that they could, and I definitely think that he looks pretty good. He's got the goggles up here on the top of his helmet, got a little blaster, and some binoculars in white, which I do like that uh, look of that and the, the color of the mold there. So. Yeah, I definitely think there's some good printing on this guy, and uh, yeah, overall, pretty good figure. So, let's move on to the set. Now we will move all of the minifigures out of the way, and we will first start with the probe droid. Now, I did not put this with the minifigures because it's not a minifigure. It's kind of like a mini build, I guess. That's kind of like a figure, but not. But this probe droid is very detailed. I definitely think this thing looks really, really good, especially compared to past models. I don't actually have a probe droid, but I've definitely seen enough pictures of them to know that... This is probably one of the best models that we've had, and yeah, it looks pretty good. I'm not sure if this is the same probe droid or not from uh, the the actual like probe droid buildable thing that we got before, uh, I think in maybe 2021. Um, and I know that one does come with a smaller probe droid, but I do not know if this is the same one or not. It might be like slightly different by a couple pieces, but I definitely think this probe droid looks very good. It's a very accurate representation of probe droid, and uh, yeah. Let's move into the ATST over here, which looks very, very good, I would say. Again, we don't see much of the ATST in the actual movie. We only see a small little scene, but again, I'm sure there's like reference photos and different images, maybe deleted scenes that do have more of this ATST in it. So this review is going to be a little hard because getting the entire ATST in the camera is a little tough. So I might have to pick up this camera and uh, show you up close, but. Yeah, here we have the Hoth ATST. It definitely looks pretty good. I would definitely say they did a great job with the first model of this. They've done ATSTs in the past, but never the Hoth one. And I do think it looks pretty good. Uh, I think it's also nicknamed the Chicken Walker. Uh, but yeah, this thing definitely looks pretty cool. So there's just one little thing I'll point out really quickly that I don't like about it, but I would say everything else is basically pretty good. It's right here up, up top where there's this like corner here. Where like and the on the front you would think this is supposed to be slanted so that it can kind of ha still have that curvature but there's just this corner sticking out here and I do not like it there's just something about it that just gets me I don't know but let's start at the feet when we come to the like the detail and the features of this thing and the feet are very detailed I mean this has to be like the the biggest feet on an ATST that there are like I don't own any other ATSTs but 
from what I've seen from reviews and different mocks of people using ATSTs, these feet are massive compared to those. And uh, yeah, they're very, very big. This thing is not gonna tip over because these things are huge. I mean, maybe unless it's on carpet, but on, on the floor, it's perfectly fine. I mean, if I hit this thing a little bit, it's not, it's not coming down. Like if I hit it that much, it is not coming down. These feet are massive and they do a great job of keeping this thing up. So then we move to the legs. The legs have decent detail. I mean, there's some exposed stuff here and there's like this blue coming out of here from one of the pins, but I mean, it's okay. I'm sure they could have done a little bit there. Maybe put some tiling like on the side there to make it look better, but I don't know. They didn't do it for a reason. I don't know if they were trying to abide like to a piece count or something, uh, but yeah, I, I think the legs look good. There's just a little bit more they could have done there. Like they did add tile here on the insides, but not on the outsides, which is interesting. Now here we have kind of like, I don't know if this would be considered like the thigh portion of the ATST's leg, but definitely good detail here. I like the detail that they added here. Again, another color thing with this brown being out here. Don't really like that very much. I'm sure they could have used a different uh, Technic pin or whatever the hell they're called and maybe made that look a little better, but it's all right. And then we come back here, we got some detail on the back, not too, too much. This actually moves the head, so you're able to rotate the head from the back. Then yeah, there's just a little bit of detail here, kind of just some of the little, I don't know. I, I don't know what these would actually be on the ATST and what their function would be, but just little details of different things that are there. We also got some panels under here. So maybe that's to protect these little like pieces here from getting maybe shot by rebels on the ground or just snow coming up into them. Cause that definitely looks like maybe part of like an engine or some some sort of thing that has to go on this. But then yeah, we come up to the head of the ATSC where there's the most detail. We got a gun on the front, moves up and down. Got some spring-loaded shooters that if you turn the head, we got these here, so you can just press that and shoot it. There is an extra spring-loaded missile right here, so I'll just go ahead and throw that on the floor and put it in later. But yeah, the ATSC definitely looks pretty good from the front. Again, there's just this that I don't like, but everything else is basically pretty good. We'll go to the back first just to get that over with just some little spinny fans here on the back and some pretty good detail uh you know make the black not the back not so bland but then he's got a couple guns here i think this is supposed to be a gun it doesn't really look like a gun but i think that's what it's supposed to be maybe like it's got a missile tracking system in it but i'm not entirely sure because again we only see one small scene of this thing and we don't ever see it in like actually shooting stuff so i don't know so it's is there though, but then we got this gun on the side here, which is really, really good looking. It definitely takes a little bit of parts and for a kid that might be a little difficult to build, but it looks really good in the final product. It's a very good looking like gun apparatus here on the side. I really do like that. But then we move up here into the top of the ATST where you open this little hatch. You got a white clip there. I think, I, yes, I can open this entire thing. So you can open the hatch or open this. And then uh, you cannot open the front. I thought you could for a sec, but you cannot. Um, there's a little little tiling there, and then there's a couple clips. You got a white clip, which I believe is actually designated for the binoculars, and then this clip is for the gun, which I like that detail there. I like how they're kind of designating which clip would fit which little piece that the, the driver has uh, correctly. So I, I do like that. And then get more of a topside view in here. You got a control panel that's strapped to this front plate and then the little seating there, so that there's there's actually no studs on the seat, so the pilot, if you're to shake the thing, you might come off, but it'll be easier to get him out of there without maybe his legs coming off. And uh, yeah, that is about it for reviewing this set, so let's move to the outro. Well, that's going to about do it for this review, guys. Thanks so much for watching. My final thoughts on this set is definitely, it is a great set, I mean, the set itself is great. You get three minifigures. I wish you got four, but the minifigures that you get are pretty good. Then the probe droid is a very, very good build, very detailed for a probe droid. And then the ATST itself is fantastic. I think they did a really, really good job with this on its first time ever being made. My one issue with it is its price point. If I remember correctly, I've always believed it was $50, but I, if I'm... If I'm not incorrect here, I believe this set goes for $60, if I remember correctly. I'll put the price up right now to correct myself, and if that $60 price point uh, is correct that I'm thinking of, mm, that is not a good price. I mean, let me see the price, uh, the piece count. It is 586 pieces. 
but a lot of those pieces are small. There are some pretty small pieces that come with the set. I'm sure the Pro Droid probably consists of, hmm, I would say probably 40 pieces maybe. I don't know, man, it's a rough estimate, 30 to 40 pieces in just the Pro Droid. So, I mean, there's there are a lot of small pieces in this set and I don't know, I just think $60 is a reach. I think 50 should have been what the set was at. I mean, the uh, the the uh, HST from the Mandalorian, whatever that one's called, that one went for $40 and came with four minifigures and a regular HST. So like, I don't know why this thing's up 20 bucks. I don't know what the piece count on that one was, but I don't know. I don't think price per piece should matter as much. I think it should matter what comes in the set and Lego is making hand over fist regardless of what the piece count is. They produce these pieces for so cheap and sell them for so high compared to what they get them for. It's like, these things should be cheaper, but they're not, so we, we gotta deal with it. But overall as a set, great set. So that's gonna finish up this review. Like the video, if you liked the review, comment down below your thoughts on this set and subscribe to the channel if you are new. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in another video.